Welcome back to Let's Play Hotline Miami 2, everyone. When we last left off, Evan was doing some writing, and Sharon made true on her promise. The kids are gone. Uh, if we could just finish this book, then everything will turn out fine. Violent protest. Oh, God. Tensions are mounting in the world. Whatever will we do? The phone's ringing. Who's on the phone? Hello? Evan speaking. Hi, this is... Uh, you spoke to my mother. She told me to call you, said you wanted to talk. Oh, that's right. If you go to the subway and you don't answer the call from Biker, you talk to a woman. Oh, jeez, I didn't realize that they just cut that out if you don't do it. Huh. She told me to call you, said you wanted to talk. It's about the mask maniac, right? Right! I didn't think you'd call, to be honest. Well, if you've got time, I'd love to hear your story. I got time, but it'll cost you. You see, I need a plane ticket. I know it's a lot to ask for, but I'm sure it'll be worth your while. Do you have a deal? Well, I can't promise you anything, but if your story's half as good as you say, I'll see what I can do, all right? Fair enough. So where do you want me to begin? Take it from the start. I want to get the full picture. All right. Well, it all started with these strange messages on my phone. At first, they were pretty straight, uh, uh, pretty straight, asking me to do things. Small things like calling random numbers, leaving cryptic messages, going around town, painting these marks at certain points. Marks? Yeah, a circle with three lines across. Anyway, I didn't do what they told me to. I figured it was all a prank. After a while, the messages started getting threatening. A few days passed, and one morning I woke up and my car was torched. And there was this message on my machine saying I better do what I was told, or bad things would happen. Back to 1989. We're Richter! Oh, snap! Oh, snap. Hmm. You've got one new message. Hi, this is Susan from Miami Funeral Service. We've got an appointment scheduled with you today for the funeral funeral of Rosa Berg. Come whenever you like. We're open all day. Our office is on Northeast 139th Street. Click. Um, Richter's last name is Berg. His mom's name is Rosa. Morning, Mom. Good morning, sweetheart. <laughs> What's wrong? You look upset. Oh, it's nothing. Did you sleep okay? Should I make you some breakfast? I'm not hungry, dear. You know, I had the strangest dream. You were sitting on an island with your father. You were both real quiet, staring out into the sea. It was all so peaceful, but there was something in the air. Something bad was about to happen. Something bad? I don't know. I can't remember what happened. Maybe it wasn't so bad after all. Listen, Mom, I'm headed out for a while, okay? I'll make you dinner when I get back, all right? All right, dear. I still feel pretty tired. I think I'll take a little nap. So, um, Richter's mom is not exactly in the best condition. She's a little sick. Uh, there's Richter's office. R Richter's room. Very, very neat boy. And two dead flowers on the other side of the bed where his father is supposed to be. We gotta take a bus? We gotta take a fucking bus to go kill Russians? Fuck! What happened to my DeLorean? Huh? What the fuck happened to that? Alright. Unlike, uh, unlike Richter's mask from, from the original game. Oh god, okay. Unlike Richter's mask from the- Damn it, okay. No, don't pick up the shotgun, Richter. Yes, pick up the knife. Okay, I can do this. Okay. Okay, just got. Damn it. Okay, just got. Oh my God. Uh. Damn it. Okay, okay, I can do this. That's fine. That's acceptable. Come on, come on, get some shotgun. Please. I don't know who's down there. I'm just guessing. Fuck. 
No, not the entrance again. Okay. So this is what it's like being Richter. He doesn't start with the silent stun machine gun like he's supposed to. Like he did in the first game. He starts with fucking nothing. Oh, what a headache. Oh, this sucks. Ooh, ice! Okay. Richter's levels are some of the hardest in the game. They want you to do some crazy ass shit. They don't give you any way to really handle it. not make a whole lot of sense. I don't really know why Richter is that. <laughs> Made sense before, you know, silence doozy just like, ooh, I'm quiet and cheeky, I'm a rat, but now it's just... Really? Really? I get a times 9 and a times 15 combo and they're like, eh, B minus. Fuck. They're not just hard, they're demanding. It's okay, just clean off our jacket, get back home, everything is fine. What the? Mom, what are you doing down here? I was hungry, so I decided to have a snack. I can take care of myself, you know? You don't have to worry about me so much. You know the doctor told you not to move around too much. I don't care what the doctor said. I'm not dead yet, I've still got some fight left in me. Oh, I love Richter's mom. She's like my favorite character in the entire game. Yeah, she's got some fight in her. Yeah. Mom, I, I have to head out for a while. Oh, is it something urgent? <laughs> I was hoping you could give me a bath. I'm feeling very cold. Sorry, Mom. I'll help you with the bath as soon as I get home, okay? I see. Well, where are you going then? Is it another job interview? I'm sure you'll get it this time. Your hopes up, Mom. Finding work ain't easy. You're such a bright young man. They're sure missing out. Don't worry, you'll find something eventually. Yeah, well, I gotta go. I'll be back as soon as I can, okay? You run along now, dear. You don't want to be late. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. You've got one new message. Hello, this is Andrew from Packing Express Shipping. You have some goods to deliver at Northeast 144th Street at 8 p.m. The shipment may be fragile, so make sure to handle the packages carefully. Don't be late, and don't forget to wear your uniform. Okay. Uh. Fresh flowers. I wonder what's in that room. Looks like a safe. Uh. Maybe his father was a big shot. Who can say? No, he's dead now, and we'll never meet him. Get on the bus. I just find it odd that the bus stop has the end written on the couch. Just uh, demolition. Uh, oh, this fucking fuck. Okay, I find it easiest. Crack these slugs. Oh fuck. Okay, here's the thing. There's a fat guy there, and there's only one gun in the entire area. So what you need to do is get the gun, pick it up, no, the gun, no, the gun, what, I just, I ran my fire, there we go, alright, might not want to shoot here, I generally tends to agitate people, you know, Oh, oh, oh. oh, fuck. Bad plan. Great plan! I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what words mean. Damn it. thing about the big guys, they don't even notice when they've been shot. Uh. Oh, what? Gotcha. Yeah. Oh right, big fat guy, you know. A lot of cushion for the cushion if you know what I mean. 
Oh my god. What? Some lightning fast reflexes right there. Uh, I hate this level. I hate it. Get mad. What the? F uh. Right when that dog walks by, he knocks the door open for no reason. No melee weapon, please. Thank you. Thank you. For, but you know, they get to get up. Get up, then die, please. Whoa, uh, uh, beat him up. Beat him to death. Uh. Let's say, please, somebody give me a gun. Goddamn bullets in it. That's fine, I'll take it. New gun, please. Okay, alright. Woo! Success. Mother of God. Well, say what you will about how hard the levels are, but at least they're short. It's true. There are no blind corners. There's just a pile of shit in your face. Wow. I barely broke even on that one. Oh, three minutes. Oh, God. Time time penalty, yo. God damn it. And then they juxtapos juxtaposed the frustration of that level with this fucking shit. Oh, my God. She's not dead. Oh, at least she doesn't look dead. I don't know, her head's rolling around in such a way that says to me that she's not dead. That's good. That pleases me. Oh, the flowers are dead already. Mom! Mom, can you hear me? <laughs> there you are. I must have passed out. I was going to take a bath and then I don't remember what happened. Are you okay? Do you want me to call the doctor? No, please don't. I'm fine, I swear. Just a bit cold and tired. I'll be good as new in the morning. You sure? You don't look too good. I'm sure. <coughs> I'd like to get some sleep now, if you don't mind. Ugh. April 23rd. Oh, jeez. You can just, like, answer the phone and not talk to her, but there's no way I'm not talking to Richter's mom. Are you going out again? You tell me if you got involved in some kind of trouble, right? Oh, you're tearing at my heartstrings. Don't worry, Mom. Just going to the bar to meet up with a friend. Oh, that's lovely, dear. I was afraid that you were a bit of a loner, like your dad. Maybe you could invite your friend over for a cup of tea sometime. It's been awful long since we've had any guests. Yeah, maybe. Oh, oh, game. Don't make Richter lie to his mom. She's a good person. You've got one new message. Beep. Hi there, this is Dan from Bush and Flower. We've got some gardening work for you uptown. A nice old house up on Northwest 66th Street. Shouldn't be hard to find. It's pretty straightforward. You'll know what to do. Just put your suit on and get going. Click. Oh, I miss those phone calls and their bad prompts. Ah, and the, and the thrill of killing Russian mobsters. What more could there be? House call. That's a lot of glass. That's a lot of fucking glass! Son of a bitch. Okay, okay. Alright, going in there is... No, I'm not gonna do that. Why did I do that? Don't get me doge. What was that guy doing? Oh. Oh, yes! Don't get me. Okay, 
Death? Is that guy death? Is that Doge death? Alright. We got a bunch of death Russians. My favorite drink. Oh. Oh. I think I nicked that guy. Oh, please tell me I nicked that guy. Okay. Uh... Oh. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This music's pretty good. I can dig it. Not taking the chance. No, pick up the gun with the bullets in it, you know? Oh, I can't even see what I'm shooting at. Damn it. That's out of bullets. This. And this one. There we go. God, I think these guys came in here, killed everyone, and then took the place over for themselves. This is a kid's room in there. And these guys that look like kids to me. Yeah. Anyway, this mission, relatively painless. I'll give it that. It's not, it's not nuncle clenching, making me mad. Fuck. B minus. Fuck you. Hold on a second, I gotta go fetch another notepad. Critics should wait until after the Russian-American Coalition Conference. However, many remain skeptical about the presidential visit, claiming the whole event is just for show. Oh, jeez, stuff everywhere. Oh my god, Evan, how many notepads did you grab? Oh, that is a long story. All right, uh, I'm back. Keep going. So I'm in there, just waiting for the trial to start. There, everything we know is history at this point. He kills the prostitute. Jacket comes to him, doesn't kill him. So it's it's canonical that Jacket doesn't kill this guy. I can tell you, time moves slow when you're locked up. It's so one day I get a visit. Good afternoon. Oh, it's you fucking twerps. Who are you guys? I told you you re wouldn't recognize us. Why are you here? They're just tying up some loose ends. Just a little precaution. Seems like it wasn't really necessary. I'm afraid I don't understand. Oh, we didn't expect you to. While we're here, we might as well say goodbye. Goodbye? Yeah, after all, you served us well. But it looks like your time's up now. What are you talking about? You'll figure it out, I'm sure. It was nice seeing you again, but I'm afraid it's time for us to leave. You take care. Oh, hey. It's Jacket down there. Playing with a little squeeze ball, talking to his lawyer. Oh, no. I don't like that blood. What are you going to do to Richter? What are you gonna do to Richter's mom? Next time on Let's Play Hotline Miami 2, we tackle the prison. This fucking mission takes forever. 